So for number 14, we have to draw the curves and then find the area between them. So I will put my axis here. Um, my first curve is just the, the regular parabola that goes like this. Um, this is y is equal to x squared. And then um, for my second curve, we have 4x minus x squared. Now, there are a number of ways to draw this. Um, the way that I prefer is finding the roots. So I'm going to set this equal to 0. Um, 0 is equal to 4x minus x squared. So for this one, we will just factor out the x, um, and that is 4 minus x. So we have that the roots are at x equals 0 and x is equal to 4. So for this one, um, so I have 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, my roots are here and here. And the parabola is symmetric uh, between the roots. So I do know that my vertex is at x equals 2. Now I just need to find the y value for it. So I'll just plug it into the equation. So 4 times 2. 2 minus 2 squared um, is equal to 8 minus 4, which is equal to 4. Um, <clears throat> so this one over here is, and I, I should have drawn my, that's 1, 2, 3, 4. It's about, they do have this point in common because 2 squared is 4. So this was a very terrible drawing, but we can kind of see where they intersect. Uh, so let me just erase this so that we have enough space to work. And this is the curve y is equal to 4x minus x squared. So um, we do need to find, first of all, we do need to find our bounds for integration. Um, because the area that they have in common is this section that I'm coloring in. And the points that unite them are this point over here and this point. Uh, so from inspec inspection, it does look like the point zero, two, but let's just double check it. So we have, we set these equations equal to each other. That way we can see the exact point that they intersect. So we have that x squared is equal to um, 4x minus x squared. So we'll just bring everything over to one side, and that is 2x squared um, minus 4x is equal to 0. So now all I have to do is factor. So 2x times x minus um, x minus 2 is equal to 0. And I can now confirm that my points are x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 0. So now that I have my bounds of integration, all I have to do is set up my integral so that I can find the area uh, between these curves. And we do, it's always nice to remember that when we're finding the area, we're really just, you know, summing up these, these rectangles as when we have our Riemann sum. Uh, so each rectangle has an infinitely thin area, and then when we sum them all up, we do get the total area. So it's nice to remember that each rectangle has base dx for a tiny slice of my x-axis, and then height, you know, f, f1 minus f2, so the upper function minus the lower function. So with that being said, um, let's set up our integral. And I will raise this, so... Then we have the um, the integral between, it was 0 and 2, which are where they intersect. Um, then I'm going to do my upper curve minus the lower curve. So my upper curve is the one that's in green. Um, so 4x minus x squared. And then I will... Uh, I sh actually, I should not have done this. Let me just remove these. And then I will subtract... The lower curve which is just x squared and then I'm going to multiply all of this by dx because we can't forget that dx is the base of each rectangle um, 
So now we're just going to kind of clean this up before we do our calculations. So this is from 0 to 2, minus x squared minus x squared is minus 2x squared, and then plus 4x, and all of this times dx. Uh, so now here I'm just going to apply my reverse power rule. So this is minus 2x cubed over 3 um, plus 4x squared over 2, all from 0 to 2. So when we apply our boundaries, um, this is minus 2 times 2 cubed over 3 plus 4 times 2 squared over 2. Um, and then we, when we apply the lower boundary, it would just be minus 0 plus 0, right? Because we do have, uh, when we plug 0 into x, the terms disappear. So we won't consider the lower boundaries. Now we just have to... Um, finish this calculation. So this is, let's see, minus 16 over 3 plus, that is 4 times 4 divided by 2 plus 8. So let's plug that into our calculator, uh, plus 8, and this gives us 8 thirds, which is the, um, the area between these two curves. So I hope that you guys were able to see that all we did was we sketched the, the functions we saw where they intersect, and then we integrated that area, area using the upper function minus the lower function.